while the research in simulation is still rather thin because it is a new industry and most of the studies come from the military or medical fields, the research has shown uh, almost over, you know, unequivocally that a blended approach using simulation opposed to just live training has in fact been more effective. There's, there's one particular study of soldiers learning tank command and one group of stud students, or, or soldiers rather, spent six weeks in a tank to learn the skill set. Another group of soldiers spent three weeks in the tank and three weeks in a, in a simulated desktop simulation. Uh, at the end, they all did live training or testing to see you know, who understood the best and, and how they performed. Without a doubt, the, those soldiers who had been through the blended approach, half live, half simulation, performed considerably better with reduced time to competency and improved outcomes. The study goes on to, sh to explain why they think that is and, and their primary thesis was that tank command, just like a lot of field work, is, is primarily cognitive and if you can master the intellectual side of things, when it comes to getting into the field there's less, less panic, um, more comfort with the procedure and you're able to perform better. So that blended approach is what we're bringing to the HVAC industry, allowing students to take their lab home with them and support their lab work, their live lab work. There's a few reasons why a blended approach uh, works better. It, with the online portion, uh, a student can be self-paced. You know, all individuals learn sort of in their own ways and in their own time, so it allows that process to occur. And then in the simulation, you're allowed to build immediate feedback. So. So incorrect notions on the student's part can be corrected uh, quickly. So they don't follow along a path where they might get uh, something erroneous and they can continue with, with correct, good information going forward. And another key uh, attribute of the simulation is that all of the reports, the student reports, um, are archived and saved and the instructor or professor can access all of those reports. So he can essentially address problems that may, that may occur or if the, the student isn't, uh, isn't performing well on this particular piece of equipment, they can address that. It's hard to do an assessment of field understanding or practical understanding when you're in the lab. If a professor has 10 or 15 students working around um, you know, with various different pieces of equipment, he can't judge whether or not all those students are accurately uh, and successfully doing every uh, every required step in the, in the troubleshooting process. The two immediate reactions when people see the simulation in the HVAC industry are one is, wow, this is something, this is something we've really been hoping for and wishing for in this industry. And then two is, do you have a module on heat pumps? Uh, we currently have five pieces of equipment that we feature, but heat pumps is not one of them. And so to hear customers say, you know, react so positively and then quickly want more, uh, that's indicating to us that we're, we're on to something here and we believe we're just at the beginning of what simulation can offer to the HVAC industry.